Hello, so today we're doing Matt and Josh. Uh, last last year, we're going to be doing something a bit special this evening. Hmm. Well, today we're it's a special one. I'm here. Is it? <laughs> we will be painting some SPQR models, the Gaul Warriors. I have to remember what they were then. Now we've got two painting tables here. That's because one of them, well, one of the models will be painted up in usual base layered wash highlighting method. That was slightly wrong but you get the gist, the normal painting method. The other one will be painted up via contrast. And that's so you can see the difference in the processes of painting these models up compared to each other, how long it takes, how they look differently, and what would you actually think of them. So that's about it really, isn't it? I can't really think of anything. That is the general reasons why we're doing it. See the different methods, see how it turns out, and what we like best. Plus, at the end of the day, people, it's a new contrast paint that's out, it's been out for a while. Still new though. People are still wondering, is it worth it? And just want to know what are the pros and cons of it, isn't it really? We've done a couple of videos of it, it's worked out quite nicely. Some bits that hasn't, because it's been a flat surface, not taking too well, but anyway. Let's chat in, let's crack on and get this painting. So, right then guys, so we have both got our Celt Warriors. And about three hours passed. <laughs> but they don't know this because that's the magic of cameras. Uh, instantly. So, trying to get the same sort of warriors each so that we've got a fair chance in Josh winning this. Fair chance, yeah. I, I'm the one doing the layer painting, by the way. Matt's the one doing the uh, contrast, so uh, I think we know who's going to win this. You anyway. probably need that, actually. More, more than me. Yeah, funny enough. A paint palette would help. Thank you very much. <laughs> you don't need a paint palette, even though Duncan and them lot and the thing, Nick will tell you you do. The thing, things are, I do kind of do mine from the pot, so it's going to be a bit... Uh -huh. I'll do it because normally I'll wet the brush, then I'll put it in the pot lid and do it, yeah. <laughs> you my don't like my jaw it. dropped. <laughs> Most painters don't like that. Most painters think that's sacrilege. <laughs> so, I will be doing a production line technique because we've got about eight warriors to do a piece. Mm -hmm. So, what I'll be doing is all the flesh, then the fabric. The next step, the next step, the next step. Yep. I'll be doing the same. Pretty much, yeah. And that Because I need drying time. Yes, yeah, so thankfully, that's my only saving grace. You have drying time. Mm. I want well, 10p, I do, but not as long as you. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is a lot smaller than mine. Yeah. Mm. So? And the bonus, if you get all eight figures done before the. Uh, the was it an hour and a half, we said, wasn't it? Yeah, we're, go we're going to do this about an hour and a half long. See, see what, what we can get done. And the bonus is six archers to be paint, to be painted if you get through your models. Now with the Celt uh, Celt Gaul Warriors, they do do checkered and tartan prints on the clothes. We won't be doing that. No. We're going for tabletop ready. Yeah, so basic fa fabric, basic colours. So with that then, we shall get cracking. Crack a laughing. I like it. So I'm going to be using the Gulliman. So, Gulliman contrast flesh. I will be starting off with a. Mm, sorry, because I just went the camera straight in the way there. Cadian flesh time. Just trying to focus in there, bless it. Yeah, the struggle. Bless them. And uh, they're very important with contrast paints to give them a really good mix. Look at the shakeage. Is it saying steady hands just been? Oh, steady hand just kicked in. Yeah, you, you, your camera has steady hand. My camera guard a step. Shame I don't. <laughs> <coughs> so, good shake on the contrast because it all settles in the bottom. And obviously, layer paint. Good shake is always good. So. I wonder if I'm going to spill any contrast paint today. Right in the brush. Get an excess water off. Leisurely just dot the paint, pick up said model, put it on the palette, wrap it around a bit. Right, 
bad because it already has the water on it. And hopefully I'll keep these in view at all times. And if he doesn't keep it in view, he's got the uh, camera that you can see what he's doing. Yeah. Nice there, that'd be right. So he's wearing a uh, tank top. That's just reminding me, is this guy's got a bangle on his uh, arm, on his wrist. Um, oh, gone completely off there. I was just holding it and it wasn't even in camera. All you had was my hand. So he's got a Bojangle. And uh, interesting fact, in all the films that portray a Roman, sorry about keep going off, but I will bring him back in so you can see what I'm doing. I just, I'm not used to the camera. Yeah, unfortunately, I've had more practice painting with a camera than Matt has. You got carried, carried away, bless me. Because I've done a bit more scenery painting that's required uh, being on camera. So, uh, yeah, so in all the things where they have a, a Roman, you always tend to give them, uh, you call it van braces or braces or whatever? Uh, which are the br it depends. There's things uh, around the wrist, leather strap strapping braces. around the wrist. Even braces. Braces, van braces, one, one or two. I think they're Frank, van braces and greaves. I think one's for the legs, one's from the arms. If I remember correctly, that's how the uh, armour works. Where are you? And that's from one of the joints. No hand eye coordination. You got blur. There you go, blur. Blur. Zoom edge, come on. In practice, it's worked. All right. Bear in mind it's a camera. Give it time to adjust. All right. That. Right. That behind it. Move the background away from the model. Because it's trying to focus. Earlier on, I did this and it absolutely not only really nailed it first time. Bloody thing. They get the idea. Never mind. Oh, now it works, look. <laughs> Plonk the bloody thing down on the table and it just goes, hello, I'm a zoom in. Right, that's my first one done anyway. I obviously did a little bit of uh, slowage there to help Josh catch up. Yeah, which isn't really working too well because you know, I've only got the one model done so far. So yeah, and apparently they didn't have those, historically. They, they weren't around in, in the time period that most of the uh, Romans are portrayed. So that's they just had one bare, done. bare arms. Now if you notice about I didn't even uh, have to reapply the brush with paint because I watered it down. Which is why I managed to do it all that in one coat. It's not gone too thick, gone on too thickly Laptop's either. just gone to standby. Yeah. Matt, nah. camera angle, mate. Cool. Oh, ah, I was just. Oh, look, testing. there's a model! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, quickly take him off. I do apologise, people. No, you don't. I am not the best at focusing camera angles and, and painting at the same time. That's one done. Next one. We don't even have to do anything careful with these. So this guy, just slap it on. Okay, yeah, he's going to be quite easy because he's uh, pretty much all flesh. So rather than like you know part Terminator. Yeah. I've come from the future. I want to see John Connor. Well, Welsh ter Welsh Terminator. I say it's proper Welsh, isn't it? Come with me for a stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> right, has that worked? 
I have no idea I've watered down the paint too much. That's a guy. Yeah, there's glove air. There's no naked guys. That's a shame, isn't it? Oh, this is almost cheating. This guy's got clothes on. Didn't you kind of, kind of get a bit annoyed because you've got some Spartans for this? Yes. And, uh, and they're not wearing armour. No, they all have the, the bits hanging out. They're all half bloody naked. And everybody knows you're only half naked on the films. An actual Spartan warrior who has been like training all his life, more than likely, more than not, would have bronze chest plate, cuirass, whatever they call it. Yeah, it's all right. Bronze shin guards, big bronze Please. shield, and a bronze helmet. And it just irritates me that every time you buy a box of Spartans like these for the you know, these are the box for the gold, when you buy the Spartan box, you get I think it's two guys with breast uh, bronze chest plates, f f like four guys with um linen thorax and the rest just like in cloth. It was only really the slaves that went to war in cloth because they didn't really give them anything because they were ten a penny. Or ten a denarii. <laughs> well, it wasn't denarii in Greece. It was Greece money. Whatever Greece money is. Oh, nice news again, though. And trying to paint, paint, trying to paint bronze armor. To paint my bulb. is difficult. Because bronze Actually, armor, find out, haven't you? polished bronze armor is like a really bright gold. And really bright golds don't really look very nice on models. They don't really translate as well as they do in like an armory or the real thing. Oh god. Please. I need about 70 cameras. So. There's number two done. I'm on number four. So yeah, Matt's managed four, I've managed two. Which we're kind of expecting anyway because of how quick Maybe that is. is. Oh, hang on, right, yeah, because, yeah, so, I mean, I can't be that good because I can't keep the bloody thing on camera. But everybody knows I'm a little bit retarded, so. Just a little bit. That's why, that's why my paint doesn't dry fast. Oh, come on, that was brilliant. No, nah, sorry, it's going, well, what, what's, what's a retarder then? A retarder is a, a liquid. You couldn't, well, I mean, there's all sorts, but for paint, it's it's a liquid that you add to your paint to make it um, not dry as fast. Ah. So Oops. I was like, there he is. Mixing, the, you know, the fact that I'm a little bit special with my uh, injury and all that. Now, I will say this. Using the old fashioned term for people who are a little bit special, it's called that is called retards. A bit of a stupid pose, you know, honestly. It's an amazing pose, I love it. It's like, I'm gonna look at the ground pose. Mm. Look at me, I've got eyes on the ground. I'm gonna hit it as fast as I can with my big sword. Everyone knows that the Deep South was um, quite a prominent language in Gauley area, where these guys are from. Gaul Gaul was like a, what we know now as like Germany and Austria and stuff, I think, wasn't it? I Sean, it was Sean hasn't shouted, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's true. Yeah, you know you know you said something right if uh, Sean hasn't bat, bat, batted in with a oh, just contradiction. Book it off again. I'm really good at not getting the right camera angle. Hopefully though, people can just see how it just splots, splodges on. 
that on there. Nicely. Now you could do this just by using Reichland Flush Shade, but with it being a wash, it reacts differently to the contrast paint. It tends to be more fluid, so it has more flow improver rather than contrast medium, whatever contrast medium is made out of. Small children ground up in a blender. That's why you don't see kids at Games Workshop. Yep, that's why they don't kids, work. because they just <laughs> send them to the paint factory. We got something out of uh, Sweeney Todd, and there's uh, Dan Dan Duncan do doing all these uh, mu musical singing for it. <laughs> look, look, or maybe looking like the uh, child child snatcher from Chichi Chi Bang Bang. <sighs> That'd be amazing. Come, kiddies, I got all the painting. I will turn you into two thin coats. <laughs> We're gonna get sued, aren't we? For slandering his mess. Come on, number eight. On number four. This might be slower because this guy's got a lot of body and a big beard. Any particular colour for the hair? Uh, something that isn't contrast, so it takes you a while. So I'm catch up. Blonde. Blonde won't take, take you a while. Right? I think I'm going to do a more grey. So it look like I got is it, um, aged. Well, they used to put stuff in the hair, didn't they? White stuff. With like a chalky substance. Chalk? Possibly. Could just been semen, I suppose. Wow, you wow, that didn't take you long to get there, eh? <laughs> did it? That was what they used to say. Yeah. See those men? See men? Hey. Well, that is all eight. But I've probably got to sit now and wait for them to dry, so while I do that, I'll show you my little Spartan. Remove that. So this is the Spartan that was from the Chilcom that I've painted. What's Chilcom? I don't know. Some sort of convention type thing. He's got a bent spear because his spear is so thin it's unbelievable. I actually get more light that way, if you look. Mm. But it's dark. That's weird. You weren't looking. No, I wasn't looking because I was trying to catch up painting. I know, exactly. So, it's better off at that angle actually. It works a lot better. Oh, yeah, do so, that. this was mainly contrast oh, paint. Oh, wow, that has come up pretty nice. Actually. And the, um, the red is Evil Suns, just as yeah. a little highlight. Um, it is just the highlight, the rest of it is contrast paint. I've not done the hair yet because I couldn't decide on what hair colour. Which you might not even have a hair colour because I can, I can never decide. Or it just goes ginger, I'm not sure. Um, somebody spice. corrected me that the spear tip and spear rear, whatever it's called, um, were supposed to be silver, so big foobar for me there. Um, but the the flesh on that, I did mainly contrast, and then just at the end, I put some kids' left flesh over it, just as a highlight. The I wasn't too impressed with the with the uh, armor because I used an orange wash. I thought it might look kind of like the sun setting, sort of thing, you know. But no. And other than that, it, it looks all right actually on that camera. It looks fine. Doesn't look like a good person though. <laughs> Uh, oh, and that's just um, rack off no p p pallid witch flesh for the for the skirt because um, they don't do a white contrast and I wanted it kind of as white as possible. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately the you uh, know what it stays zoomed in really well. Does this camera the once the model is there? White is more of a dirty white, isn't so, it? Dirty, dirty white. So there's that anyway. So we're 18 minutes in. So I'm not sure we're gonna 
Mind you, we had a lot of introduction, didn't we? So put about 10 minutes in at the minute. So, my next is... I'm going to do all the swords. Because that's going to be grey. Contrast grey. That is... Yeah, come on. Contrast. Basilic... Hey! Basilicanum. They're still wet, my guys. Might get some wet blending going on. Right, so I'm going to go with... Swords. Oh, thank God for that salmon in a shirt. That's going to be easy and quick. Right. <laughs> yeah, you know when I say light, done number two, number three, number four, number... I'll just the whole shirt guy. Oh, that's cheating. <laughs> we have got an equal amount of shirts and not shirts, though, so... That just means that Matt managed to get two shirt guys before me. So, basically, with this... You kind of use it as a non-metallic. For your weapons. You just, just pop it over. And it, it will dry. Says it will dry, it will dry, it will dry like Peter Pan. How about I say some of like Peter Pan there for a second? That sounds quite good. Quite a good adaption. Thank you. I'll do try. Yeah, do now, don't you? What I'll do is I'll do the uh, dagger what? in contrast grey and then do that with the contrast brown afterwards just to pick up the leather. I'll do the bobble on the end of his shield there. Now with that, I'm going to do this, then wash the brush out, and just run that round to clean up the edges. I don't want too much of that spilling over when I do the next colour. So I just softened it out a little bit. Uh, not much right. really to them, really, is a... No, they're pretty easy, aren't they? Uh, sure you are. They are wearing sandals, aren't they? Yeah. Right, well, so that's that one. Now this fella... This guy's covered in flesh. Strangely enough. <laughs> now this shield's very similar to a Roman shield. Even better. But I'm thinking, my guys aren't very well off, so... They're just gonna have... Rather than having like bronze or something, just kind of basic iron. Basic kind of metal that like smelted. Because I'm not sure. Whoever smelted it, doubt it. Whether in these days it was more expensive or less expensive. So I'm just going to say it's, it's more expensive to have nice shiny. Yes. Uh, what shield do you reckon is more, more expensive? The bronze or goldness. Bronze would be uh, generally. Because uh... it was quite cheap in Roman. Sorry, in Greek. But then as soon as they realised they could make like metal and steel, it actually changed to be that. I've lost my picture, by the way. No no one can... I don't even know if I'm going to be in camera. I think I've got a massive hand at the minute. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go with everything being silver, since it's cheaper. It would only really, in my opinion, only really be the chiefs and stuff that would have the kind of shiny gold stuff. I think it was the Iron Age, then the Bronze Age. So... Or was it Bronze and Iron? I don't know, I think it was uh, Iron, then Bronze, because it's kind of the first metal they found and the most well used. Then Bronze Age, because it was uh, obviously the next metal found. 
I've got news quite a lot. I'm going to have somebody get really pissed off and just rant on our comments about which metal came first. Without any really regard do. to our painting, they'll just be like, it wasn't that metal. Oh, if they do, comment or don't. It's still a comment conversation on it. To be thing. honest, they could, they could actually put it up for us so we knew. That would actually be really helpful. Okay, I don't think there's any more metal on there. Ah, there is, the, the, the edge of his shield. So what I'd normally do is I'd normally do all this. And afterwards, when I've got the entire army painted, go around and neaten up with layer paints. But only if it was necessary. Put myself at a disadvantage because I didn't have my glasses on. Sean? Sean? Be a darling and bring my glasses. Where are they? On my desk, I believe. We can't have uh, Josh a, 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 an advantage, can we? <laughs> Heaven forbid I win. The day Josh wins, the day I pay him back is eight grand. You still had two, two of a line. You pay it, pay it back in bits and bats as when you can. I don't know. That's not what banks say. Banks but we're going to charge you interest here if you don't pay. That's what they say. Your interest is a... Uh, Cups of tea. Cups of tea. Now that is a... I don't know what they're... No, I don't know what it's called. What? The shield's called a scutum. Uh, whatever the helmet's called for the uh, Romanos. This guy's got a Romano helmetto of a legionero. All that is legitimate Italian words, by the way. Of Everyone course. knows, just put the O on the end of it, the EO, and it becomes Italian. Easiest way, as well, if you don't want to speak, speak Italian. Is go and learn Italian. Is, well, what we'll do, you know. Quickest way, speak, speak Italian. Get your thing, things like this and just, whenever you speak, just do that with your hands. That is how Italians speak. Were you here when uh, Thingy told the joke? Thingy, you mean Sean? Uh, I think it was J J Jonathan told, told us the joke. Could have been Sean. Oh no, it was Sean, wasn't it? Three guys get captured by... get captured and tortured. Yeah, they're all three, three spies. Three spies. One's Italian, one's English and one's, I don't know, French. And they took the... Uh, took the... French guy in. He spills the beans immediately. Took the British guy in, he's like, I'm going to nail this. But then he spills the beans immediately. They're not chefs, by the way. And uh, the Italian guy goes in, he holds out for weeks. And uh, when he gets back to the cell, they, they say, God, you've gone ages. How, how come you didn't crack? And he just says, They get tired of my hands together. I could not speak. I could not speak. everyone knows that they speak with the hands. Now, obviously, we can't hear, hear you laughing, but uh, we're going to, to just assume everyone that has watched this, you know, just giving us a little laugh just for uh, giggles. I mean, I could have just had a really bad delivery. And they were like, yeah, that is funny, but really, somebody else should have told that joke. I'm not the best at joke telling. The plus side, John. No, you are the best joke. Ha ha ha. I am a good joke, aren't I? Yeah. What is a joke? It's me trying to get the right camera angle. When they get a load of money, they just have like 100 cameras just around me. 
and the cam the computer just chooses the best angle for what I'm doing. Because the computer's clever. Probably cost a million pounds for that sort of system. Oh, auto chooses the camera angle. <coughs> computer says, ow. Oh. Now, I've got a choice to make of mine, and that is when I play the wash. Mm. Because I can either paint some more, different colours, then wash each bit individually. I wash the whole model at one time. Personally, I just wash it all together. Do all the colours and then just hit it with some sort of wash that does everything. Some sort of wash it does, I think. <gasps> you know, contrast paint. <laughs> <laughs> no, Agrax. The wash of the gods. I would even recommend it on Agrax Earthshade on skin. Yeah. Gives quite a nice dirty look. <laughs> I'm surprised about Agrax Earthshade. But it does everything. You could put it over your entire model and it would it would work on everything. Now the question is, do I believe Matt, or do I, do you say you see he's trying to sabotage me? Would I sabotage you? Well, you're, you're, you're already up then, you've got to cut me lair painting. I could have done the lair painting, all you had to do was say... I didn't get, get, get a chance, it's alright, you're lair painting. I was like, alright, oh, okay. Boss man. Well, you did get a chance. No, I didn't, I got told what to do. You can always tell your boss that you don't want to do the task. You <laughs> get fired. <laughs> You can't find somebody who just works for free. That would be silly. Because even if you did shit work, it didn't cost anything, so... Mm, true, but then... Uh... That's why I keep you on! <laughs> wow. <laughs> but saying that, though, whether it's free work or paid work, do you really want the quality of work to suffer? Even if it is free. Because me, per personally, if I did have someone work, working for me for free, and they were doing rubbish work, I would say, uh, yeah, it's free work, but your yeah, quality work is really that bad. I can't afford to keep keep you. No, obviously, I can't afford, afford to pay you, so you know, I can afford to keep you, but unfortunately, you're costing me money by the kind of work you're doing. Therefore, I have to let you go. That's what I would do. Yeah, I messed that up. All right, I only messed it up a little bit. There's a little chinny chin chin. Yes, yeah, a little, little, little bit of flesh on his chin because the amount of hair, hair he's got. He's painting up his chin. Just in case if any, anyone has ever wondered what that noise actually is in the background of our video. It's a big bear. Yeah. It is Sean doing parceling. Because we do have an eBay shop. And obviously we send parcels on a regular basis. So when we do do these videos, it always falls on Sunday night. And uh, Sean just uh, parcels up those items that are sold. Yeah, he could go home, but he doesn't. Yeah. He's one of them employees that you actually want. He's like a paid employee who doesn't actually want to go home. Sorry. That is perfect. Is the first layer of flesh done. That doesn't like bendy over guy. No, he doesn't. Now, as Matt's done the metallic next, or the contrast, I'll follow suit and do the same. So for that, I'm going to use a lead belcher. Oh, the belcher had the lead. Because that is the massive ogre just walks in and goes, I've got the lead belcher, and then just yeah. fires a cannon. Lead belcher. Right, let's see what you've done. You've done helmets, you've done tips of spears, you've done swords. Have you done the handles on the swords as well? 
sort of. You're not done shields, have you? I've done the edge of the shields. Yeah. Can you not tell? No, I can't tell because I don't know which ones you have to mend them. Alright. Alright, you're done like that. Okay. Alright. But you see, for me, this is easy because I can, I can drop the contrast paint onto the shield and it'll... For you, if you paint your shield edges and stuff and the bosses, mm -hmm. you then got to paint your... Uh, <laughs> just get it in focus. You've then got to paint the internal bit. Yeah. So if you splash over the edge, you've got yeah, to repaint paint your silver. Which means, unfortunately, as a layer painter, I've got to be neat and tidy. As a contrast painter, you don't have to be. Because the next layer of contrast, it'll just look like you've added a shade. That's it. He says. You see, I'm not going to go with the whole just neating up mistakes. Because I want to I show people that even though it says, oh, oh, if you go over the lines, just you know, re-line with this contrast base paint, I reckon you can actually get away with not having to do that. Should have probably washed out my brush just then. I'm going to make sure a couple of colours on there again. No, no, I just, it's got to the point where I think it's drying on the inside. Which is a weird thing to say when you're painting a contrast paint. But I've lost the tip that I love. I don't need my penis. Oh wow, look, look at that view there. That's a brilliant view. Upside down. Sorry guys. Now just in case you're wondering why there is a yellow circle on there. Green. Green. The good point on colourblind. That'll make painting fun. Are you? It's so we know where to put the paint holder. To keep it in focus. <laughs> <laughs> That's working for me well, isn't it? What are you making? A uh, hot chocolate out of the Snickers bar. Cool. I like the idea. So Sean is making a hot chocolate from a Snickers bar. Well, I did it. This guy's got a looks like a Roman helmet without the side bits. So that Roman must have had his face chopped in half. I am really, really sorry about my technique with the uh, paint. You mean you actually got technique? Uh, what do you call it? The going in and out of the, the camera -ness. I do apologise, guys. Oh, you mean your short, short, shoddy camera work? My camera work needs quite a lot of practice. <coughs> Got it and annoyingly, you've been doing the edges of these, haven't you? Yep. It's making more fun for me. We've actually got <laughs> one, two, three. That's one of mine, isn't it? Yeah. I was using it for reference. Well, this being the operative word now. I've got five with edges. You've got one, two, three, four, five of edges too. Look at that. Oh, as if we planned it. I know. I just picked these at random. And you can see actually how that contrast paint has gone on. I have missed a bit underneath his arm, so I sincerely apologise for that, but you can see it's That's just rough. That is, uh, done quite a lot of, of work for us in highlighting and low lighting. Um, I have noticed that with the contrast paint, sometimes you do miss bits. It's like when you wash and you miss bits with a wash. Um, it's just one of them things. It doesn't always look like you have. So you just end up having to go back and just touch up a little bit, which is my only complaint with them. The fact that, you know, you can paint four times as fast. 
is really important to me compared to oh look I've just missed a little bit the sort of thing so the compost paint all you gotta do is just touch the edge really and it just flows off your brush quite nicely don't really have to apply much pressure, which I always find you have to apply pressure when doing air paint. Yeah, this, this is what I've been doing when it's been down here. This is what I've been doing. <coughs> I'll get it right for a change, he says. Completely looking at the camera rather than this painting. I'll just put a massive blob of grey in the wrong place. Don't paint looking at a camera unless you're really good at it. I like how quick you can do contrast. Just like you just drop drop it on, it just goes blip. You don't even have to worry about it. Like having a dishwasher. So he's getting there, bless him. That is literally what it's like. It's like getting home from work, having to do the dishes after dinner. So I've just that's done, layer painting. So I've just done my first model with the metal and the lead belcher. And contrast painting is getting home, having your dinner, putting it on, dishwasher, and pressing start, and sitting down and watching telly. So before I move on to the next colour, I will proof the skin on each one, and I'll show people um, my mistakes. It's always good to show mistakes, just so they know what to expect when they're doing it. So you finished the first one and I'm on my last one. Yeah. And I've done a bit of time wasting. Well, on the same amount of time wasting, you've even been able to manage doing time wasting with this. I haven't even managed to get any time wasting. Good job, really, because you've not brought a Spartan to this battle. Yeah. I've brought the Spartan and the Roman Legion. You ain't got no layers to show for your effort. Nope. I feel like what I did there. Uh, talked. Whole, you're doing layer painting. I said you ain't got no layers to bring to the bottle. I wouldn't have layers, I would have uh, legions or something, wouldn't I? Lines, columns. What? I don't know. <laughs> layers of paint. Oh. <clears throat> you know what? I'm not going to bother joking. Oh, I am. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You're always going to joke. Oh no. Oh okay. yeah. You know what? <laughs> That's really kind of you actually to do that. <laughs> well, actually. Put the camera the back on and be so like, yeah. aha, I'll sabotage Matt. The mouse is at my side of the table. Yes, because what Matt, Matt's doing is uh, we've got his camera hooked up to the laptop. If that's so, you can actually see what his camera angle is doing. And it really <coughs> helps. <laughs> <coughs> cough, cough. But the thing is as well that's happening is I'm getting the screen more used goes to it. idle. So it turns itself off. You could have just turned off screen idling. Oh, no, I could have done. Would have been a more sensible thing to do, but I uh, didn't really think that far ahead. So what you'll see is, I've just gone over there with a little bit of dark. Focus. Focus. Um, yeah, I didn't have that much trouble with focusing, yeah? No. There you go. So, focusing. 
fine. Yeah, yeah. What did you want? You wanted to focus on yeah, the eyebrow. The eyebrow. So you... I've gone over with basilicum grey into the eye area. It'll add as a shade for where his helmet shades his eyes. So you do that, you can see a little bit of a shade there, I think. So if you hold it at that angle, I could have just done a zoom in, couldn't I? Go on. I'm going to come down. <coughs> well, just uh, ever slightly gone over on the lid belt from that bit there, no? Oh, you don't work on that either. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now you can see it. There you go, kiss. So, you know, I'm not I'm not going to be too near. I don't worry if I go over. I'll just uh, fit it in. Why not? Touch it up that way. I'll just zoom back out and get the right angle there. Now I've lost all the purple. <coughs> <coughs> I thought I was being clever, but now it won't focus on the bloody model. That's like cell sabotage, isn't it? That. Pretty much, yeah, you, you've just done, done yourself over there, haven't you? There we go. I got the angle back. I did that so I could have some more drying time. Uh, so, just to show you, this is a fully contrast painted, no layer painting, Roman. Let's see if it works on there, look. So that is the Centurion of the unit, and he was undercoated grey, so his flesh has come out kind of a pale colour. The flesh is <coughs> one warmer, and everything, all the, that's all basilicum grey for the armour. I think it was two layers of basilicum. The gold was just the uh, iron and yellow. I'm going to have to get another try and go. Iron and dark sun even. The reddish flesh towers. I did uh, eight of them in one hour. No, I didn't. I'm lying. <coughs> About two hours. Normally it's two hours to do one man when I do layer painting. Right, so I'm going to do leather. No, leather would involve doing... I'll do the wood. I'm going to use... Uh, snake bite leather, Honeyman, Basilicum, Saigal Brown for the wood. I'm going to say they've got lots of dark wood. Uh, now, what trees were they in? Gaul area. I think this comes out quite dark. So, here goes. Let's find out, shall we? <clears throat> oh. Mode number three for me. I believe something that I did miss some coffee has got the um there is a knife down there, which I've forgotten about, so I'm going to have to quickly paint that up. I thought it meant a real knife. I was like, shouldn't you move it so we don't hurt ourselves? Oh no, just a fake knife. I've always found it particularly effective for doing wood. What, knives? No, the uh, contrast. Yes. Because it falls really nicely. It's just wet enough to fall in, but... Like your layer paint doesn't do that. You've got a wood grain on the back of the shield, you end up having to do several thin layers, <coughs> or watery layers, or 
paint it a few times. There he is. That's starting off with the sword. So what I'm doing is I'm going in with the side of the brush there. You can't see because it's going in and out of focus like this. I had my grandma in a hospital before she was yeah, dying. Well, she broke her legs all the time. And her hips and stuff. She was in and out more times than she was at home. That's fine. If that's one of the uh, unfortunate seas of Oh, old. Did you thought it was going to be dirty, didn't you? I did for a second, yeah. Especially with our sun sunny drapes been coming out. I don't know. I've been clean all night, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, about as clean as a heroin addict. Uh, we go back to normal, though. Right. Can't see it, but back at shield's done. It's possibly one of the least important parts of the model, really. Someone comments, oh no, the, sh the sh back of the shield was the most important part of the model. Oh, I love painting packs of my shields, because so, it's the only bit that I see when I'm playing war games. Fine but enough, that's probably quite my true. My opponent gets to see the front. You know, all these people who always paint the front of the model to look nice because that's what their opponent's seeing. And it's one guy who makes all the backs of his models look nice, so that, that's all that he's going to see. Don't really care what his opponent sees, but all the backs are spot on. Couldn't fault, fault the guy, to be honest, because you're in... Uh... Perfectly highlighted bum cheeks. I don't even know what I was doing there with the uh, camera angle, so... Highlighting the bum cheek, apparently. Now I have noticed this is going on a bit funny, this brown. It's not uniform. But like it's the first contrast paint I've used that doesn't seem to have a uniform Did you application. Uh, shake it? Very well. Very, very well. I could have done it too, by then. Well, I shook it three times now. Try before I started, and once when I picked it up. Where brown is it? Shigar. Saigo, yeah, should work all right. Saigo and Wildwood over it. High pigmented, I think. They could do with being a bit of a contrast medium added into them, I think, to paint with them. And I've been adding a lot of contrast medium to my normal paints, by the way, to actually make them so I can paint faster with layer and base paints because it's, it's quite good as a medium yeah it, it basically is just a flow improve I think now are we going to do all the shields different colours or are we going to do the shields all the same colour <coughs> For the units, should we say? Because the, nice the, the swords are in, well, in one unit and the spearmen are in, well, the javelin ears are in a different unit. So, I was wondering whether to have like a uniform shield design for each unit so that you know which unit's which when you get them out of the box. But like everything else can be kind of random. I've completely just got my knuckle on camera now. Well, you know what it means, don't you? Best start paying up your knuckle. Need to make it pro painted. Pro paint the knuckle. I'm sorry, that flat, fresh, fresh colour on uh, your knuckle isn't too realistic. Uh, it needs another coat, doesn't it? You know what I find amusing? Jokes. Oh, sorry, very, very. When you see some gamers, they'll buy something like a, uh, well, they won't buy, they'll, they'll get something like a rock or a twig. Uh, they'll incorporate it onto the base, but yeah. they'll actually spray over said twig, yeah. said rock, then repaint it to make it look realistic. Yeah. Rather than just have that twig as it is in its natural colour, which is the most realistic colour you can get. But you know why? But putting it on the actual model on the base, it doesn't look realistic. 
Yeah. So why is that funny? <coughs> I find it funny because you've got something that is a realistic thing with a realistic colour. It's the same with rocks, you've got to paint rocks as well for yeah. some reason. But in all honesty, you shouldn't because it's a realistic colour. It's like a sand. You you get a sand, a sandy base to say like a, de a de desert troop. You could just get PVA glue and fine sand, fine sand, and then just chuck it on, on the base and that's it done. That's proper sand. But that's not good good enough um, colour. So people repaint the sand. Mm. So it always looks fake. It's weird. Hmm. Very weird. But it's don't have to think that realistic things with realistic colours are too realistic for the game. When you try and paint things up realistically. Yep. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. So, that's three of these guys done. Now I'm on to my fourth. Really? Doing yeah. what? The edges? Yeah. Oh wow. The load belcher. Uh huh. So time consuming, isn't it? Yep. I've still got to go and touch my flash up, so. Probably should do it in the toilet, shouldn't I? I'm going to do it just in case you uh, overspill. Yeah. In the only way I could possibly catch up to you is if I called it quits on doing the other four and just go to doing uh, you could models. You could take about eight hours and then just put your video in fast forward. Yes. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. Right, back to the shields done. So if anyone uh, is what, what, watching this and for some reason I managed to paint <laughs> eight models before Matt that is not what the happened. end of the video. Yeah, it's not what happened. I cheated. I uh, No, no, as in, you know, you didn't cheat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just really that good, a quick, quick painter. The fact that I could get, get the paint to dry quicker than, than it's supposed to. Paint quicker than it's supposed to as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, that flash did cool her. Okay. I'm going to lower this guy up. In the case there's a shack on. I'm going to leather this guy up. This is snake bite leather. I didn't show you it last colour, but it was Saigo oh. Brown. I did mention it like several times. No, I didn't. Oh, I'm just going to edit that. I don't know where trousers finish. I'm just going to have a random line across the model. Is it by his feet or by his waist? Eh? You want to know where his trousers finished? Yeah? Either by his feet or by his waist. That's where trousers end. Hmm. As much as I'd like to laugh at that. You're just as enjoying the, the just the reveling it's in as the bad as where does Napoleon keep his armies? Where? Up his sleeve is. Um, can you do me the honors of putting my camera back on? Well, my, what do you call it? After that, Jake, no. It's good. Bring it on, this is sabotage. Baby, bring it on, this is sabotage. Baby, bring it on, this is sabotage. Yeah. I don't know any more words other than that. I'm not, I'm not even sure either. they were the words either. It could have been da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da sabotage, for all we know. Phenomenon. 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 That was a brilliant song. That was simply the best. I never learnt the words though. <laughs> really, I couldn't tell. I found it really hard to learn the words to that song. Yeah, I really haven't got a clue where your belt is. Round his waist. Yet again. Not funny. Is it there? I just think it's attached to his trousers. The other one looked like it was attached to his shirt. Really? Yeah. Mm. I mean, his dagger's literally just 
attached to his trousers. There's no actual ropage. That is weird. So, do that bit. Over there. To be a leather doodad. Okay, this one has got a bit of flush that I need to do. I'll wash my brush out because I've got time to do that. And just touch me a little bit of flesh up. With a little bit of flesh, we will make it through the night. With a little bit of flesh, we will paint it all right. Because everyone knew they were the words. Uh, okay. Beep, beep, boom. When Matt picks model selector. Three e eagle hide. This video so I can win selector. <laughs> that paper's a bit too wet. I've got a wet armpit. Oh, wait. oh yeah, because you'd like to wipe your brush on your armpit, don't you? Hmm. I've completely off cam. All you ever see is the paint handle. Or the top of the model. Four done. Yay! So, I've managed to do flesh on eight. Yeah. Uh, the lead belcher on four. You've done the lead belcher, the skin on all eight, and you've done the wood as well, haven't you? And the wood, yeah. And I'm now doing the. Uh I'm trying to do the leather, but I'm struggling to actually see where the belts are. So I'm just painting random bits of brown on the model. That is not my fault, that is Renedra for making weird miniatures. So, and we've been doing this for about... Just coming up to 50 hour. minutes. Yeah, just coming up to about an hour of painting. Because. We, record, we started recording, but I looked at the clock and it was like, well gone. It was like ten past one. Yeah, if you notice, your camera has a counter on it. Yeah. Your camera started. Oh, sugar. Didn't, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Well, weren't we doing some talking? Yeah, but we've been painting as well at the same time. R roughly, we've been painting Did an I hour. Did I start it and then pick up my paintbrush? Yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, what I'm saying though, we've roughly been painting an hour. <clears throat> You see, I don't think it didn't feel like an hour. So that basically gives us about half an hour left. Doesn't it? Pretty much. Because nobody wants to sit and watch us guys talk rubbish and paint for more than an hour and a half. Hmm. You know what I didn't do? The spears. Ha ha. I completely forgot the spears. So I'll put him there. Available time for me gain back. I suppose what I can do. Is obviously we know the models I'm painting won't be finished, but do a video do next week. Oh, fine. I was actually going to say I can actually do a video of just painting up a Gaul warrior layer painting. Let me see if you can do that in an hour and a half. Or no, no, just painting it, <laughs> showing what it looks like at the end, and having your contrast one next to it as well. Wouldn't that be a bit unfair? No, because uh, at the end of the day, the viewers will be able to see your finished models. Hopefully. So they you basically see... want me to paint one really carefully with contrast? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, I'll do another video of me painting up these, one of these, fully. Uh huh. Because by the time we've finished this hour and a half video, chances are you're going to have eight finished models. Am I? Probably. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I'm that good, so yeah. I'm just getting modest now. 
and it's just one of those, it'll be oh nice. Oh god, I'm not even on camera. It'll be nice to see what it actually looks like by the end of it, won't it? <laughs> I'm not even on camera. Just doing painting on talking to people. They don't even realise I'm alive. Except for, of course, the weird voice that I'm making. Yeah. That kind of tells them that I'm alive, doesn't it? Right, another one washed out. Done, done, done. Do some more leatheriness. Yeah, these colours and that remind me of kind of like the early days of painting with Games Workshop colours. What, did that co contrast out in the early days? No, but the, the paint was that watery. <coughs> that this is what you got when you layer painted. And you had to do like about 70 layers of paint just to actually get coverage. So you'd get the snake bite lever and paint it on like this and it would look like this contrast paint is. Mm -hmm. Now, thankfully, with this shield, it's all wooden, there's no proper edge to it, so all I've got to do is that little middle bit there. So that's a nice easy shield for me. Is that called the boss? I think it's called the boss, isn't it? What, uh, what do you mean? The uh, circular bit? The circular bit in the middle. Oh, I don't think I should know this part, I don't know, I can't remember. I mean, you could just call it a mat, I suppose. If it is called a boss, because that's basically what I am. <coughs> what, a mat? A mat. Should we paint them all ginger? What colour hair, Sean? One. Because that's what Germans are and Swedes are, yeah? Oh, and ginger. Blonde. What colour's platinum blonde? Whitey blonde. Well, if you look on the box, yeah, you've got a mixture of blonde and brown. Blonde and blue. And blue. Really blonde and blonde. In there with a white beard. There's an old guy with a white beard. Yeah, old guy, white beard. I'm not on camera again. You know, you go to all this effort to make me be able to show people how I'm painting. And I just go and mess it all up. Pretty much. If people don't watch this, it's probably my fault. Oh, I'll help you take that. It's like, yeah, you can paint, but we can't see. See, because what I'm doing is... Some people actually say that contrast painting isn't actually painting. Oh, yeah. Potato, potato. It's just cheating. I understand. Well, compare it this way to what I'm doing to what you're doing, yeah? <coughs> The speed that you're going at and the quality of finish when it gets in camera is basically what I'm aiming to get at the end of my process. Maybe a slightly better looking. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the problem is, it's going to take me ages. Mine might look a better, slightly better, but Contrast was made to help get that tabletop ready standard quite quickly, isn't it? Yeah. To which that's what it's doing. You could spend months painting this army with layer paint. Mm. It all depends how much effort you want you want to or put into like it. maybe a week with contrast. I mean if you want to do something like Golden Demon then people will do layer painting or airbrush painting, and uh, nine times out of ten will win. But if you're just doing it for the sake of, oh, I've got this army, I want to quickly get, get it painted, I'm not too bothered about the paint scheme. Contrast. That's it, really, isn't it? Mm. Just picking and choosing your battles as to... Uh, uh, Sean just hurt himself. Yep. As you're all right, do you want first aid kit? Good, suffer. What happened? Smacked my elbow on the shelf. You know what? It's very silly. Ah, it's it humorous. Is. 
I actually feel like I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> Dare I ask? I don't you? fart in case I do. No, just in case you follow through. Just in case I follow through. Why don't you go to the toilet? What? And lose valuable time painting? Oh yeah, because it was really going to make a blind bit different. If I've got diarrhoea, I might be there all week. Good, I'll catch up. <laughs> Plus, you do have the ability of being able to pause the camera. That's really funny, actually, this guy. Oh, pausing the camera. Oh. No, no, <laughs> this fellow here. In fact, I think all of them have got... Um, Diarrhea? Like, <laughs> the bottoms of shirts attached to the leg areas. But, I've just done shirtless guys, so they've just got the bottom of a shirt. Like, oh, the rest's been ripped off. How do you mean? Let's have a look. That bit. Oh yeah, I see, so yeah, so, yeah, the shirt's just been rolled down. You could argue it was his trousers if the belt wasn't over it. Mm. I'm just gonna lob a bit of, where was it, there. Yeah. So Matt was uh, refer referring to, make sure I'm going to is that bit of there on the model. Now, of course, there will be bits that I don't paint on these models. Some of them have got um, neck amulet type things. Necklaces. Which I won't be able to do, really. Because I can't be bothered. Well, that's not... <laughs> that's not the right attitude to have towards painting. It wasn't the right paint. Paint, um, I was... I forgot and just dipped in the wrong paint. Um, Hang on, you've got more than one co contrast paint open at the time. Yeah. That's risky business, isn't it? As, as proven. <laughs> as just proven. The reason I say ri risky business is because what we generally tend to do is uh, Knock over. have one, yeah. <laughs> We've knocked over quite a few paints before, so generally tend to keep uh, one paint open at a time to minimise spillages. Especially with contrast, considering how much they run as soon as you do uh, knock it over. But they don't really run. They don't have legs. Okay, spill, flow. Flow. Like flowing river. Sounds like an Indian. Sounds like a uh, Wild West Exodus character. Yes. So we've got sword guy naked, sword guy not naked. I think. So you can have. Oh yeah, I love that colour. I'm not even sure this colour would have existed in those days, but or whether it existed, it would have cost a lot of money. What colour is it? The ethermatic blue. Uh, Could have made it out of blueberries, maybe? No, unfortunately, with this blueberries. camera angle, I'm just painting the inside of the shield here, but there's no way of actually paint, actually. Aha! There you go. You can just about see the bit I'm going to paint that way. So this is the only thing that contrast painting isn't really that useful for. That's painting a large block area. Because you end up with funny lines. Oh, you did doing, doing the flat area of the shield, sorry. Yeah. I've done six models of this metal. That is the only problem with it, the large flat areas. It's probably the only thing I would paint with a layer paint. Oh, well, tough, you can't use layer paints. That's fine. So, man with cloth. Are you man with cloth? Or are you? No, you're definitely man with cloth. Put 
then you know it goes on really nice and easy. Mm -hmm. I don't mind trading the coverage for just how easy it is. You can neaten it up and be very careful. Right, so that's kind of turquoise shields. There's spear guys. Naked, not so naked. I think, would you count those as clothed? What do you mean clothed? What, what part? Like compared to that guy. Okay, just so, so you know what, what Matt, Matt's talking talk about here. So we've got, on the, on the camera, we've got, so it's going, would you count that guy as naked? And which guy call that guy clothed? Now, considering they both got clothes on, None of them are naked. True. He's topless because he's not got a top on. Mm -hmm. Or shirtless because he's not got a shirt on. Yeah. And he's clothed. Okay. So unless the model was actually butt naked, then he's not naked. He'll just be topless or shirtless. <sighs> not to be picky, you know, and fussy and all that. But don't know why I bother. Don't know why I bother. Try and do that with your bloody lair paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What I've just done then. What? Just got around the edge of that without spilling. Except for that little bit. <coughs> That's fine. A little bit of spillage is it, you know. Isn't spillage what they call in retail. Hello. Hi, could you buy some nappies before I'm out? Some nappies? Yeah. So, we did have, uh, we had a slight uh, pause there because we just had a phone call. But we're uh, cracking back on with it. A phone call from my wife that every single week I tell her don't ring at this time. And it's the only other time she rings me. Not that I have anything to moan about. Well, I have to interfere with anything at all, is it? Nope. So, I've wireless really screwed that up. So, what Matt's end up doing there, because he just screwed up, is he's accidentally painted the wrong colour on something. To which, what did you do, Matt? The lovely people. I started to do the ethermatic. Yep, on the shield, yeah? On the shield. Mm -hmm. Which I suppose to most people is turquoise. And then I uh, got the phone call and carried on painting. Yep. And painted athematic on all the other shields. Mm hmm. But all the other shields are supposed to be different colours because I'm doing different colour to, to make it easy to see which, which unit's which. But it's alright because athematic's quite a light colour, so we should get away with it. So, with Ethermatic being a light colour, it will be easy to put another contrast on top of it. Indeed. And it not affects the actual outcome too much. So I'm going to do... Purple. I'm going to shoot colours that are really hard to do in lap paint. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> Are you purposely choosing colours that are difficult to do, doing like... Oh, that's evil. Especially this shade of purple. What shade are you going for? Megos. Megos, yeah. There's not many layer paints that look like Megos. 
It's like, I suppose it's like a scream, a scream of pink maybe. It's not really purple, it's more like a pink. Anyway, I did pop off camera angle for a second there. It's alright. You've been doing it all night I'll anyway. It, all night. <laughs> it doesn't matter too much, does it? Yeah. But yeah, generally what I've been doing to make sure I try and stay in camera angle the most is I'll position the model, I'll check on the camera. So actually it's pink. Okay. It's a pink. It's a pink by the looks of things. I wonder what it looks like over the turquoise. Ah, over the turquoise it's dark purple. Interesting. Get into the last model. Yeah, I will, I'll, I'll be in a minute. Hmm? Yeah, it doesn't really work. What? I'm just done. I didn't really allow it to dry. That's going to have to dry. So what, what Matt has been able to do with the contrast paints is if you do go over with the wrong colour, just get your thumb and you can just wipe it off the paint with a bit of tissue, wipe off the paint quickly before it starts dry, and then it won't affect your model and you can re reapply without any worries. You can also wash, wash it off if you want to. Mm -hmm. And just dry it on your t-shirt. So what I'll do is I'll do that spear. And then come back to that. I'm actually quite li liking this video. Yeah. Yeah, well, you haven't watched it yet. I oh, know, but um, well, I'm not watching any of your stuff. I can't see anything. It's not in the camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's the entire actually showing the difference between contrast and layer painting. Because you can tell people till you're blue in the face how much of a time difference it makes. Mm -hmm. But then seeing it visually is obviously a lot more impressive. And so it wouldn't surprise me there'll be a lot a lot of people watching this video just go, oh in that case then we'll skip to the end and see what happens. I'll just stop watching because I think I'm just I'm 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 gonna win. Oh they know the outcome don't they? You beat me up and then Surpassing. Nick your models, flip them round, <laughs> so you have my ones. Go, oh, no, no, Matt, Matt's done no contrast painting whatsoever on these models. You know, he's taking his time. Here's me, fully painted army. It looks strangely like it's been contrasted. That, that was because of my painting skills, so that's good with layering. I managed to just you know, make it look identical, as you do. Mine is more or less always out of focus. I absolutely royally shut the focus thing earlier. Oh, that looks in focus at the moment. Oh, yeah, on that angle. Yeah, and that angle. And that angle. As soon as, soon as you look angle. at it, it decides to turn. <laughs> Don't look at me! <laughs> it's like, oh, I better, I better work, because Josh is <coughs> looking. Here with that on my eyesight, it's a lot worse than I think it is. <laughs> yeah. Turns out it's been focused all this time, you just got really big smudges on your glasses. <laughs> That'd be funny. He where we are. He where we are. I think that's where the spear could 
can't really tell. Uh, I'll do an easy one. <laughs> Gee, you're so kind. I wonder if you've got a fish pink. We don't need any more for all. Just, oh, did, did, just find the original one then. Mm. Didn't know how it turned up. Uh, flesh tarots? No, I knew, normally if I'm no. not looking no. properly. Got my eyes closed. Ah! Charge! Da, 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 it's a really bad thing to do is to uh, close your eyes while you're driving. <laughs> What, you mean sleep? <laughs> when it comes to painting the rest of the SPQR uh, goals. Oh, I could be forgot what I called them the goals. The rest of them more likely will be done in contrast. Yeah, just get them done quick, innit? Yeah. <laughs> Mind you saying that my my Spartans are getting done in contrast. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Well actually they're done the way that did the other Spartan, which is a mixture of both. Contrast for the main, and then <coughs> highlighting with lurk paint. So, we're doing a mixture of contrast and layer. Why do you do it with a mixture? You've got the speed of getting your base colour down, mm -hmm. coupled with the uh, the accuracy of um, being able to do highlighting. The contrast paint does highlight for you, but I found, especially on that Spartan, I just, I just liked the look of a layered highlight on him. Yeah. So now, but to get them on the table, this works. So now I'm off to do the wood next. And I've just finished the shields nearly. Mm -hmm. So that is going to be the purple. So, for wood, let's see, you've got a dark wood there, haven't you? So, I'm probably looking at a dryad bar, I believe. Mmm, probably. Sure that. So, no, that's a rhinox heart. <coughs> you could use rhinox. I could do, I'm not keen on it though, funny enough. I do prefer a dryad bar, I've got a better than rhinox heart. Uh, where are you? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. What part is that? A bronze? No. Dry park, yay! <laughs> so, I'll just take one of those models there. So, that's the wood on there. That's going to be the colour plank. That should work quite nicely because what happened is dark colour first, then light colour on top for your highlighting. So this will, should work quite nicely. Should. Semi confident. Semi confident is probably the most you can be at the minute. Yep. A bit like me with trying to fix this problem that I made. Oh no. What problem is that? Which one was it? The uh, when I put the long blue, I put the blue over when I should have been doing the purple. Oh yeah. It's alright, I don't mind. One shit looking model is not. 
first cars, isn't he? Because it's going to happen to one of them, isn't it? What he did wrong with the first casualty. Oh no, you killed the man with the shit shield. Not only that, though, but the fact that you're doing a model and it's not turned out right shows that you are a bit of a normal painter. You're not one of these guys, oh, look, I've painted something and it's worked out perfect every single time. <laughs> yeah. Funny that, every single time it went perfect. Mm. Makes you a more of a relatable painter. Indeed. Because one thing we I don't, infallible. We don't uh, I mean, confess Sebastian. to being on this is mm. we are, you know, your high ranking professional painters that paint everything perfectly. Two dudes, two dudes and two brushes. Yeah, pretty much. Just a couple of. Well, I'm say completely. two dudes, one brush, but that sounds too much like a porno. That'll no, be. Uh, Two dudes want one paint paint cup. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit video of uh, two guys drinking dirty painting water. <laughs> that might get some people off. <laughs> That'll be the equivalent of it, won't it? Yes, yeah, so we do know we don't we do know some painting techniques and we do have a standard of painting. We have done painting videos, show people how to do stuff because that's the level we have. So as a result, any knowledge we do have, we do like to pass on. That's why we're doing what we're doing. We like doing this. If we can help people, would we? Turned off again. Is that because I started talking? <laughs> Plus, we run a hobby shop. If we don't do painting videos, it's a bit silly, isn't it? Especially where you do painting tutorials as well, in essence, for people. Yeah, true. To make them all blonde. Blonde. You're going for a. Oh. Why? Why does it have to be yellow? <laughs> why have you chosen a yellow car? It's not like you can do all yours brown, and then we've got some different. I'm going to. I'm not going to give people my guys yellow hair. Although well, saying that, though, considering I am um, layer painting method. What I can do though is actually stick a colour on and just use washes to get the desired hair colour effect. It just took quite a while for it to zoom back in, don't it? Oh, yeah. we've got a tash ad. Can I get the tash? So no, at least it does actually focus back in, so it's actually quite a good camera, not too bad. Old trusty regiment brush. Almost got it. So the only bad thing of this is obviously I've uh, I've gone over on the lead pelcher with the brown. So before I do any washes and this, I will be doing a lot of touching up on the model with paint. Just to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> Has everyone got a tash, haven't they? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, manny men. 
with facial hair. You must just notice that these have the same <laughs> heads. I've picked two guys with the same head. We're going to give them the same hair as well. Two guys, one head. Two heads better than one. That's not what she said. No, she said. <laughs> Was she a whale? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Just had a mouth mouthful all the time. It does make painting hair like ridiculously easy. I know, it does the contrast, doesn't it? So what's this? You have a two thousand point army to paint. <laughs> contrast. Contrast the S H R D out of that B I C T C R. Can't can't spell. Five 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 minutes later. There you go. Contrast the S H R T out the B R T C H. There you go. Just no one will realise mm. that I messed up the first time. Oh, they will. I put it in writing on the video. I've just painted his ears in. Yellow, but yeah. <laughs> yellow ears. Because he's got ear hair. He's got, he's got ear hair, hair. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, ear hair. Which could have been a German joke as well. What well, ear hair? Yeah. Well, hair means Mister, and I mean ear is probably air, which probably means something like I don't know. Sean will tell me in a minute. No, he won't. He's not listening. Is it you? Me? No, it's do. Who? Do, do is you. Do hast, you have. <laughs> You're just uh, going to start singing this song now, aren't you? Do hast me. Uh, <laughs> sure, what's air mean? Or ear? ER. In Germany. In Germany? I don't understand the question. In the German language, what does ER mean? Or oh, something that sounds like ER. I think it means it. It. So it's it, mister. Basically, is ear. Ear hair. If there are any people actually do, it is fluent in German, watching this video. We apologise. Just, just, just please comment. On what it actually is, yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> it probably mean you, Mister. Or your Mister. Ooh, proper gay bar. Down, 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 down. In the Roman army. What is? Better to say Thebian army. That's what the uh, the sacred tribe was. A load of Arabian homos that went and beat people up. And who said gays weren't violent? I really haven't succeeded in painting that at all. Yeah. <laughs> I, to I totally missed what I was aiming for. Like when children go to the toilet and stand up. Still training Casper, are you? No, uh, some of the <coughs> some of the kids that come in here are go and check the toilet afterwards, and it's just like, oh, basically got to clean all the floor, all the toilet itself. It, like it's monthly clean happens every time one of the children go to the toilet. So it's like that scene from Daddy Cat. Da Daddy day Daycare. Is it? Have you seen the film? Yeah, with um, Eddie Murphy. The great one, 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 one the kids go to the toilet, toilet in the house and it's just every, every even on, on the ceiling. Really? Like, oh, how do you get on the ceiling? Yeah, pretty much like that, yeah. Yeah, the guys with helmets are difficult to. Uh, Keep getting it on. Never mind. It's a <laughs> beauty of contrast. One of these helmets I've missed a bit of basilicon. I'll just splodge that there. That's fine. Oh, quick 
nice fix in the west. Yeah. Right, so trousers. Trousers and tops. Gee, I wonder what colours I can use to wind up Josh. You know you're thinking it. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, you're on his back now, that's good. So that's four guys done with the Cadian Cadian flash. Oh, I believe got got what flash I used. Yeah, Cadian flash time is flash time. Yeah, so Cadian flash time, lead belcher, trim and shields and weapons, and dried bark. Which means I've got four left to do. We have the back of the shields. And one that's got a spear. <coughs> so we're nearly coming up on the hour and a half mark as well. So once you get the contrast paint on, you can just kind of work it around if you don't, if you get enough to begin with. Just until you get it all covered. You're just really manipulating it on the model. Works best with the large areas, of course. There's a question. You know, you guys with shields like this. Did you do the entire entire bit of brown, just leave it wooden, or did you colour it in as well? You coloured it in, didn't you? What? You, the wrap, the oval shields. No, don't have a trim. You coloured. Yeah, you did, didn't you? There you go. Is that what I did? So I was going to paint paint it all brown. Not now. <laughs> Wow, what colour is that? Pop lightning. That's bright. Let's have some ultramarine blue. Ooh, that is a good shack. Do Just so you know, when it comes to doing my green, I'm going to do mine in a darker green than that. It's so, alright. The good thing about the cloth is you can do them actually what, whatever colour you wish, Josh. Yeah. I just will not be able to bring myself to make it that bright of green. So you do it in moot green. <laughs> I would have to actually. To get that colour green, I would have to do a moot. No, you just use warpstone glow. It's the same colour. Yeah, but I can't use contrast though, can I? Yeah, you've got Wapstone glow in the uh, lead paint range. Oh, wow. But you use on Wapstone for Skaven. 
I never knew that. Oh, well, just goes show off and I've never used that paint. A beel tan wash over it. Yeah. There we go. It looks fabulous. I think to save face on that, just I'm just going to paint that as if it's his trails. This. Mm, just just make it look a little bit. It's just fancy trousers. Fancy man. Fancy, fancy pants. pants. That's it, fancy pants. <laughs> I got the fancy pants. No Roman gonna kill me. Blech. Oh no, he didn't. I did, man from Gaul. I thrust my gladius through your chest. <laughs> Chestgladius.com That looks like that. that's money broken. A new world record. <laughs> Get back on screen. Spudger Brown on there. No, Spudger, but don't work for the BBC. Because one of these would be, uh, well, no, two would be female. Two would have to be black. Probably two would be an Asian. Uh, one would be probably Chinese. Right. And there'd be like one guy who was English in the entire lot. Because the English are the only ones that, you know, we can be racist about. Oh, you mean because how sometimes the BBC are quite, well, you need, need to get one of every one kind of thing. Oh my god, this camera angle hasn't got one of every nation. Take the English guy out. Yeah, the kind of, the kind of tree, like a Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> get a collect them all, have one of every one. I've lost my camera again. It doesn't matter because of every, every, everybody's probably bored of me and just watching you now. Hopefully not, because you're the quick painter at the moment because you're doing contrast. Two just, shields left to do. I'm just a blur. That's it, just two shields. Yeah, that quick. They're just like, I can't, I can't even focus, it's going that fast. I wonder how many people are going to go, excuse me, but they didn't have that colour dye in those days. You've opened that can of worms up now, haven't you? Oh yeah. So oh we, look, uh, a yellow shirt. Some historical war gamers do get quite touchy about what paint colours you use. Yellow leg, you've never painted it before. Most of you haven't. There's probably one thing I dislike about historical war game. The people. Just, no, 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 not, not people. The history. No, no. You, you, let me finish. Me. No! <laughs> it's the... If you want to do a paint scheme for it, you've got to follow what was historically accurate. If you want to do the models for it, you want to paint, mm -hmm. paint the game. You can't go, you know what? I really love this uh, World War II... Um, Tell you top game. I want to be uh, this army, you know, Americans, British, Germans, whatever. I'm going to paint them pink. Yeah, I want to paint them all bright pink in um, techno camo kind of thing. You, you wouldn't be able to do that because, well, you could. You'd be quite happy to do it. But you know, you'll just get so much aggro. You get where we're doing the Germans like that. Because they experimented with an awful lot of different um, drugs. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Camouflage techniques is what I was going to say. But yes, you were right there, Sean. They experiment with an awful lot of drugs. I'm going to go with purple trousers. Stop it. They're looking really nice, actually. Not my guys. Oh, excuse me. I say my guys can't cover us, I'm not really doing anything to do. I like the mixture of colours. Is the only reason why you like the mixture of colours because you know how hard it's going to be for me. It's a lot quicker to change between the colours when you're doing contrast. Mm, yes it is. That's going to be... Yeah, that should be there. Now, I do know that purple dye in those days was very expensive. Yes, it was uh, news for royalty at times as well. So this guy must be royal. <laughs> he basically just fell in a load of blackberries on his way. <laughs> he was wearing white. And on his way to the battle, he fell in a, a blackberry bush. Yeah, but absolutely. Which is interesting, really, because you'd think to make purple dye, if you just got a load of blackberries, that would make purple dye. Almost uh, quite a lot, a lot of the dyes were made using flowers. So, that is eight guys done up to the standard of the back of the shields of wood colour, dried bark, lead belch off weapons and metal. Gagan flesh tone for the flesh. So they all look like there you know. So that's what I've managed to paint at the moment. So we've been going for an hour and a half. And Matt will zoom out on his camera. So you see <coughs> Cough my guts up. As you can see, we're just looking at what Matt's up to at the moment. He's got an Olaf father, the one I've got. So, needless to say, that's the benefit of painting with contrast. If I was to do this and get him to a finished state, it would take most of the night to do it. You have to go to a different country as well to Whereas, get to the finished state. Yeah. To which Matt will probably be done in the next half hour. Ten minutes, mate. Oh, ten minutes. I've only got to do like a couple of yeah. But I'll show them what I've got done after I've done this one. Bit. bit of touching up where I've missed some leather. Yeah. But in all fairness, that's really all there is. So we'll leave the um, layer painting there for the moment. Uh, with during the week, uh, Sunday night, by that time. The next one we'll be doing is finishing off uh, the, these guys with the layer painting. But uh, we'll keep going whilst Matt does the little bit of contrast until he's happy with it. So we'll swap just to the main camera so feed. That's as far one as big picture. my guy's got an hour and a half. So we'll swap to the one picture, as you guys can see. Don't put, don't stop yours because you've got the contrast. All right, so we'll stop this one. Go to the one camera feed. I was just going to zoom out. Yeah, that's what's going to do. So there we go with Matt's guys. Obviously, we'll Can't look. really see anything, but no. But I'll, I'll done. I'll sort that. Of sort that in a second. Get up and stretch my legs. Oh, that's better. If I put them there, you could probably just take the camera off and. So 
right here. Do like a pan, like zoom and sh 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 So I'll start off with this one here. So, which isn't going to focus, so that's slightly annoying. Kind of is now. Yeah, so just do a slow little pan there. Right. Helps if this bit probably about loose so that would actually go. Here we go. Now just seeing that actually looks like his legs are highlighted. It does a bit, doesn't it? But that's the thing thing when using contrast, isn't it? That's mm. what it does. That guy just spilled his hair down on his trousers. Yeah. yeah. Nice, that's how the guy's done for the moment. So you should see, looking pretty good. So eight yeah, guys, almost done in an hour and a half. Yeah. You're lucky to get one guy nearly to the point of washing in that time. Yeah, so, so we'll go, go back over to uh, what I've managed to do at the moment. That's... Well, I've got up to at the moment, which isn't the right lot. But that's the speed I've managed to get to compared to me. You're quite a quick painter this one. Yeah. So you paint neat with layers. I don't paint neat. I paint quite messy. Yeah. But with contrast, I paint quite neat. Mm. So. And again, you're just going to be moving around the table, so you don't really need anything major. No. I'd probably paint my heroes with layer painting technique. Oh, yeah. Medic command unit. So that being said, I'll be able to screw. So, focusing on that for the moment. Yeah. Sure, because like... Yeah. Uh, you unplugged the feed. Yeah, well, I unplugged the feed. Yeah, I didn't really know. That's right. Uh, yeah, so that is pretty much us done for this evening. So what did I miss out? I missed one, two, three, four legs and one torso. Otherwise, it would have been done. That's not bad for an hour and a half. I'm quite impressed. Nah, it's not too bad at all, really, is it? It's, uh, it's not as boring, I've found. When I'm painting that style, like you were, doing a batch painting like that, I just zone out, no, well, stop doing it and go and do something else. That's why you do hear about lots of gamers saying, oh, I need to do stuff to get back into painting, mm. or I need to take a break from painting this thing, paint something else, just to keep that drive going. You could happily put ten of those on the desk, idle through them all day, next day go back and do another ten. Yeah. Because you can have a break, have a cup of tea, come back to them. Because you're only going to spend... If you be more careful and put in a few more layers and there's stuff you can do with contrast that I'll have to show people uh, where you can actually build up the layers of it to get nice shades. Um, even doing that, you'd probably be able to do all ten in one day with a couple of breaks every half hour. So it's quite revolutionary really. Mm. And of course, the more you're using, the better you get at it, and the more things you'll find out. That's it. It's like most things, isn't it? The more, the more you try, the better, better yeah. to get, and the more tips and tricks you can pick up. The biggest issue with it was that people were going, ah, splodge it on, well, it looks shit, and then giving up. Yes, it's, uh, well, we were saying about that, when Games Workshop did release this, they didn't really do it justice with how to actually apply it, what to use it for. They've just gone, contrast paint. Whack it on the Space Marine. There you go, job done. Whereas Space Marine, lots of flat surfaces, mm -hmm. not done too well. But then, look at these guys here. It's possible to do a Space Marine in contrast, you just got to be very careful. Yeah, you can see how well that's gone on there. It works nice on materials and flesh, yeah. to be honest, and hair and that sort of thing. It's got a rigid surface. 
it really loves it. Um, flat metal panels, you've got to water it down and build it up in layers. But that's something they didn't say though, So you may as well so, just yeah. layer paint instead. Mm. Obviously, if you've got a white undercoat or cream undercoat or whatever, then use the contrast to get your initial coat down. Because obviously you find when you're using layer paints or base paints, you might need a couple of layers anyway. Mm. Painting those on his paint stay, you can hit it with a contrast and then cover it over. So you've got that initial coverage. You don't need to put too many layers on them. No. Which then, of course, means less paint, less brush marks, less thick coat. You know, they're not going out in winter, are they? Yeah. Lol. I'm so funny. I should be a comedian. So, yeah. Um, I mean, I was sold on them as soon as they come out. Oh, yeah. Because I'd never get a chance to paint my own models, do I? No. Or this is actually good. Else's. This has given you a chance to actually paint up some of yours now, haven't you? Since Contrast came out, I've painted eight Romans, I've painted those just tonight, I've painted That's a, it. <laughs> a couple of one-piece models like that Spartan. Just in between doing commissions, just sit down for half an hour and pfft, done. You've, I've got another model painted. You've also so, done Blood Bowl teams as well, haven't you? I've done several Blood, blood Bowl teams, which have been a miracle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's, been, it's, been, it's been fun. It's a nice journey, and every time I use them, I think, oh, I could do this, or I could do that, or, you know, I'd like to sit down after I've done my next few commissions and just concentrate on perfecting them. And then after that, do another video, a catch up in like three months' time of now this is what you can do with contrast. Yes. There's plenty of ones out there on the internet with professional painters, way better than me, who've been able to like wet blend using the contrast paints to make a non metallic gold. It's just, nah, hello. Yeah, but we're, we're, so. we're just doing this more for the average Joe kind of thing, because mm. that's what we are. I'm a hobbyist. Mm. I'm not a, a professional in that sense, but I am getting paid to paint, so I am a professional painter. <laughs> but I'm not a Golden Demon winner. I don't want to be a Golden Demon winner. I like painting ta tabletop armies. Because Go. that's what makes people happy. Mm. It's all right having a nice what, set, set piece, but you'll never play with it. First, first time you play with it and someone knocks it, it'll get chipped and there's £300 down, down, down the drain, isn't it? Along with a year's work. Along with a year's work, yeah. yeah. So, you, you know, you, you want something that you can put on a table and play with, yeah, that's going to cost you 4 or £5 a model. But then you're paying for somebody's time. Hmm. Um, I'd probably never solely use contrast painting at the moment because I've not perfected the kind of blending techniques, but they're very good to get the initial coats down. Yeah. Mm. So, as it happens, I painted a haunch in layer paint the other day. Just yeah. Sprayed it green, brushed it green, stippled it brown, painted the wheels, painted the windows in dark blue, and did, done. Nice tabletop paint, took me about half an hour. Just quick, done. Well, I say it's still some, some of these things can be so, quite quick to paint on their own individually. These things are vehicles, I think. Mm. Very easy. If you do a man, I've never been able to get a man down to an hour. Never. It's always an hour and a half. See, two. if I was actually to paint one of those guys up, just one, I could have gotten to that standard you got there. To that, yeah. Easily. Yeah. And, and probably washed it and then thought about highlighting it. Mm. That Spartan guy took me about an hour, an hour and a half. To the Spartan guy there. Um, and he's only got three main colours, his flesh, his gold and his red. Mm. And again, it's just a contrast painted, then brought in the layer paints. If I'd have been doing that from the beginning, I'd have probably spent about half an hour just trying to paint the red. That's it, yeah before you even put a wash on it, just to try and get into all the crevices, because it's full of crevices, and that's what contrast paint's good for. You just drop it into where you want it, and it just just flows down. So, I say I wouldn't be able to achieve that otherwise. It would have been a lot harder. Several layers of red, just trying to walk them down, medium mixed in, and then probably still ended up with like a massive bit I missed. Probably would have ended up, So, yeah, I'm happy. If Get a unit out like that, put it on the table, get it killed, beat up some Romans with it. That's it, get a spade with. So the, the Romans look good. 
they all contrast. Not many of them, because they're quite expensive in points. So 16 Romans probably not knock, knock, knock those out in a day. Probably a couple of days to do these. And then you've got a whole starter set built and painted. Mm. Which in all fairness is more than you needed for the game, which is good. So yeah, happy. Hopefully more of this going on soon. That's about all I can Watch space. talk about without boring people. Well, on that note, no. Uh, thank you very much everyone for tuning in and watching even if it's just to catch the ending mm. uh, catch you soon was it videos. like comment subscribe share yeah. us yeah the usual stuff Us the usuals M M much appreciated good night and good morning wherever you are mm. <laughs> and ciao for now ciao for now bye <laughs>